All right, our whole file is set up correctly. Uh, you guys are gonna be copying me make this yellow truck. Remember, it doesn't have to be exactly like mine. You can take certain creative liberties. It doesn't have to be the same, uh, you know, uh, box counts. It's, it's, it's fine. It just, the whole point of this video is to really kind of give you an idea of the proper workflow for creating a vehicle. I'm gonna show you the easy tricks to making your stuff look really good that'll carry over to any vehicle you guys uh, start. So we're gonna start off with our yellow truck silhouette. I'm gonna use the line tool. That's this up here. So uh, to start drawing, if this is your first time in Magic of Voxel, you're gonna use this L means line and you're gonna make sure to be under attach. Uh, this means you're gonna add in voxels. Um, and then we're gonna wanna pick a color and that's going to be this yellow. Uh, again, I'm gonna double check to make sure I'm lined up correctly. It looks like I am. And I'm gonna start to draw out my silhouette of this thing and I'm gonna be kind of loose with it. I can always fix this stuff. And with my line tool, I can just simply drag out. I'm gonna do my bottom first. Don't worry about drawing the wheels at first. Stay away from those guys, it's okay. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way to the front of this thing. We're gonna come up a little bit and uh, maybe give a little bit of a, of a lip on it. And there we are. That's actually a little bit lower than that, isn't it? Yeah, I'm, I'm, so while I'm drawing, I'm keeping my eye as well, looking back and forth between my reference and this. It's always really important to look at your reference. So if I'm drawing this part, I'm looking at this part um, back and forth to make sure that I'm kind of getting the sizes of it correct. Uh, cool, let's come in, get myself a nice top on this bad boy. Oh, this is looking good. This is looking really good. And then we'll drag out this back onto it. We'll even go out a little farther than it is. And something like that. Sweet. And I can rotate it around just by right clicking. So if I right click, I rotate. And you can see that we're right here. This looks great. Uh, and there's some little extra little guys on it. That's all right, don't worry about that. But what you wanna make sure is that there's no holes because we're gonna use a fill button uh, for this thing. And the fill button is right up here, this F. I'm gonna click the F to fill, make sure attach is on, and boop, I'm gonna fill. Now let's show you the error that would happen if we had a hole in there. So I'm gonna come in and let's just go to B and erase, and I'm gonna erase out a hole here, and let's do this fill button again. Boop, ah, bad. You wanna make sure that you don't have any holes in there. You see that? Make sure those holes are out. Cool, and now I've got this thing filled. I'm ready to go. So I filled it, and now watch this magic. I'm gonna, I clicked before, now I'm just gonna click and drag and pull out my truck. There it is, very, 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 very simple. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. All right, you guys, I want you guys to go in, uh, make sure you're an orthographic view set up on the side. I want you guys to draw the silhouette of your truck using the line tool, then fill it and drag that sucker out. All right, you guys, go do it now.